Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. Some of you would have seen springs attached to a vehicle on a long bar. We can find them on some trucks, off-road vehicles, and old cars. This type of suspension is called the rigid axle front suspension. In one of our previous videos, we spoke about the independent front suspension. If you don't want to get confused about these two, then please do watch the previous video first. The link is in the description below. This rigid axle front suspension is also called as dependent front suspension or solid axle. Before the use of independent suspensions, these were being used. This type is designed in such a way that a long bar made out of steel or aluminium is used. The axle extends outside and the wheels are connected to its end with the help of kingpins and bushings. The axle beam is held in a place with the help of springs like coil or leaf springs. The reason that they are being used in trucks and off-road vehicles is because of its load carrying capacity. So using them on cars will also be a good idea, right? But they aren't and there are certain reasons for them. First up, there will be a transfer of road shocks from one wheel to another since the wheels are placed in a single unit. Due to this, the ride will be rough and the vehicle might lose traction. Next, since the axle is solid and heavy, the unsprung weight will be more. So, better springs and shock absorbers are required to control and keep the tires in contact with the road. Finally, there is no provision in this design for wheel alignment. Most of the rigid axle front suspension will be dead axles and the rear axle will be the live axle. In this type, the wheel hub connected to the end of the solid axle rotates over an anti-friction bearing. To permit the wheels to turn, the steering spindle and steering knuckle are connected together at the end of the axle with the help of a kingpin. The construction of the stub axle to which the wheel is connected is the reversed Elliott type. If you want to know about the stub axle types, then watch our video on stub axle. So that's it for this one. Hope the overview of the rigid axle front suspension was useful. See you in the next one and until then, bye.